There are a few classroom organizational tricks that have truly stood the test of time for me. And after 23 years, I've got a few that have really shaken down to be some of my favorites. And so today I'm gonna share my top five organizational tips with you right now. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the student info binder. Now, over the years, I have tried so many different things with how to house and organize all the student information that we have. Grade sheets and IEPs and, you know, data and all, just all the things, right? I've tried two pocket folders. I've tried hanging files. I've done file folders for each individual student. I've done folders for classrooms. And I got to tell you, the binder is where it's at. So I keep all of my student information inside one, one and a half inch binder. It's not too big, not too small. And I keep things like my handy easy grader and some stickers in here as well. Now, I only have one class to worry about. So if you teach many classes, you know, you might consider having um, like one binder for each class or each grade level. That's actually what I did when I taught middle school music. Now, I, I have also tried using like one binder for daily grades and one binder for IEPs and then another binder for test scores and that kind of information, but that really became too cumbersome. And when I wanted to attend meetings, I just had so much that I had to carry with me. So that's why I wanna suggest having one binder that just has all the information about that one group of students so that it's just so easy to keep together. Now, I wanna actually talk about some of the loose paper that we have to deal with. This is number two. Taking care of those loose papers that you really wanna have handy and at your fingertips because you're working with them on a daily basis. And for these types of papers, I use open containers. And for labels, I go with good old fashioned masking tape and a Sharpie. The containers that I keep right around my desk area are papers for students to pass things in, papers to pass back to the kids, and papers for the current social studies and science units. And my favorite is the copy bin. Now this is a bin that I can just toss things into when I need to make copies, when I get a note from a student that needs to go to the office, or just about any other thing that needs to be delivered to somewhere outside of my classroom. And I also keep master copies of things that I often copy, like spelling sentence papers, weekly homework logs, lined papers, and my favorite, student check-ins. Things like that. And then, you know, also a book or two with easy to copy papers, just in case I need something quick from my classroom. Now these bins, I actually nest inside of one another and keep in a shelf. Now these bins, I actually nest inside of each other. And I know this is not the best idea, but my classroom is so small and the storage space just really isn't there. So stacking them, being able, I should say, to stack them and nest them inside of each other and then put them into a shelf that's just nearby my desk actually works. And then I can just pull them out, see which one I need, and then put them back when I don't need them. Or just kind of leave them on the edge of my desk so that everything is handy and there when I need it. All right, we still have three more to go, but I really want to hear what is your favorite classroom organizational hack or system that you use? Let me know in the comments, okay? And be sure to stick around because I do have three more and the last one is actually my favorite because it is so easy and yet so necessary. Now here's a super practical hack for you, okay? Number three, I love this one, and all it has to do with is paper clips. Hear me out. So when you're done making your copies, here's what I do. I use paper clips on the side for the papers that are gonna go out to the students eventually, and I put the paper clip in a different spot for the originals. 
For the originals, I'm gonna put the paperclip on the top. So here's why I do that. For the originals that I might bring down to the copy room with me or might need to flip through, this just makes it easy for me to tell the difference between the originals that I have versus the papers I've copied for my students. All right, so let me show you where I put those papers. Okay, so this thing, this little collapsible hanging file, I've had this since my very first year of teaching. It may have even been a, a hand-me-down or something from a retiring teacher at the time. I just love it, and it literally has been part of my desk decor from day one. So, super simple. I have one hanging file for my emergency activities, you know, in case I need something in a pinch. And then each day has a hanging file, and I put the papers I might need for each day inside. And see, this is where that paperclip hack comes into play, and my papers are super easy to grab. Okay, so now for my fifth and final classroom organizational tool, the extras bin. Yep, it's a bin where we just keep all the extra papers. Like I literally just toss the papers into the bin and if a student needs something because maybe they lost their paper or they were absent or they just need a fresh new copy, they go over there themselves, they take the paper out of the bin and there you go. Super easy, right? And when the bin starts to get a little too full, I actually put a couple of students on the extras bin job of cleaning it out. And here's what I mean by that. I'll ask them to take out all the papers and sort through them. So if there are papers that we actually use on a weekly basis, like the homework log or a spelling sentences paper. I have them pull all those individual papers out and make stacks and we can usually grab one, sometimes even two classroom sets to be able to use. And the other thing I like to have them do is pull out all the papers that have only been printed on one side and then we can reuse those papers. I have students use those papers for drawing or I'll actually take a whole stack of those one-sided papers and use them inside of my printer or even downstairs in the copy room. So which one of these do you already use in your classroom? Or maybe there's one that you wanna try out or maybe you have a classroom organizational trick that you can share with us. Go ahead and do that in the comments because I think the more we share these practical ideas, the better and more easily run our classrooms can be. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and I would love to share with you more strategies and ideas and activities for you in your classroom. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I can't wait to share more. And now it's time to go head over to this video that I've just queued up for you. I'll see you over there.